apparently, next week, we're about to see an influx of money into the Bitcoin and crypto space. Apparently, $16 billion is making its way. Why is this happening? Where is this coming from? And is this even really accurate? Welcome back, everyone. I know most of you are confused because you're probably expecting the weekly episode that normally drops on Monday, but unfortunately, Walton couldn't make it and our guest couldn't make it. So I decided, you know what? We are going to talk about the elephant in the room, the newly appeared elephant in the room. Well, I say newly appeared because the, the Bitcoin news is just constantly changing all the time. And I know last week I promised, I promised we weren't going to talk about FTX anymore. I, you know, we, we did the, the story about Caroline Ellison, how she's only spending two years uh, and people shat on me because I supported Ross Elbrick and other people hate my glasses. And I, I get that, that that's all fine. But, but unfortunately, unfortunately, yes, I suck. And we do have to talk about FTX again, because apparently, apparently, FTX is going to be repaying its creditors. And apparently $16 billion is about to be returned to people who supposedly, you know, who believed that they had lost their funds. And apparently the hype is, is that this money is going to be hitting the market. So uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's dive into, let's dive into this article. But before we do, a word from our sponsor. Pleb Underground is brought to you by CypherSafe. Check them out at CypherSafe.io. Guys, you know that I am a pet rock enjoyer, and this is the pet rock for Bitcoiners. That's right, the Bitcoin Rolo Triangle. 16 ounces of solid titanium. Check it out at CypherSafe.io and look for new products that are going to be coming out very soon at CypherSafe.io. Welcome back, everyone. Let's dive into this article by Coinpedia. So FTX, $16 billion payout, and supposedly it's going to trigger the next big Bitcoin and crypto bull run. Anyway, so the reason is, is that $16 billion is poised to return to the accounts of crypto traders. And of course, analysts and the Hopium cheerleaders are talking about how uh, this is going to bring you know, this is going to bring about the money that starts the next bull run, even though uh, we heard this story once before about the legacy money back in 2018 and how this is how we were going to get to 50K and this is how we were going to get to 100K and none of that happened back then. Um, yeah. And anyways, it's uh, it's been six years. So also uh, in, in terms of the uh, in terms of the the hopium that's being dispelled, here's an account, Elliot Trades, which, by the way, uh, has like uh, 760,000 followers. OK, so the, I mean, maybe it's a lot of bots. Who knows? But anyways, here, here's what uh, this account had to say. You mean to tell me that FTX will pay out 16 billion to crypto creditors the first day of October? So, of course, for the people who aren't in the space, but for some reason are paying attention to this channel, October has to do with the fact that historically, Bitcoin and crypto um, start to do very well in October or end up having outsized gains during that month. So it's this, you know, this magical thinking idea that that's just going to automatically happen. Anyways, the year of the having, the month after rate cuts and days after historic China stimulus, you mean to tell me you have some nuance take other than that? Yes, I do. Send this shit to Mars. Okay, look, I totally appreciate that. I, I can't say that I don't appreciate the sentiment. I do. I also, hey, look, I also wanted to go to the moon, right? But at the same time, I, I know that having this kind of ridiculous hop hopium uh, kind of burns you because you end up setting these unrealis unrealistic expectations based on, you know, these types of random takes. Uh, my take is a random take too. It's tough, right? It's tough being a human. Anyways, let's continue. Let's continue on because, yeah, that's right. Um, supposedly, supposedly, it looks like Sam Bankman-Fried actually did some pretty good moves and is making it possible so that these people can get uh, repaid. So here we go. Former CEO Sam Bankman-Fried, in light of this, FTX amended its reorganization plan, paving the way for, for potential full repayments to its victims. The first hearing is actually October 7th. Then the next hearing is October 22nd, followed by November 20th, followed by December 12th. And these are payout hearings. So 
Uh, for people to understand, they're staggering the payments in order to supposedly uh, keep better track and make sure that everybody's getting paid out. But the point is, is that the $16 billion is not going to be hitting the market in just one shot. Lastly, the article finishes by painting the picture that most of these investors, th these people who are getting their money back, these people for two years didn't have this money, thought that it was completely gone, all of a sudden are going to get this money back. Um, they're painting the picture that these people are automatically going to start putting their money in, back into, you know, into Bitcoin and, and other altcoins. So I don't know how correct that is. But again, right, that's the whole point of this. The whole point of this is to get everybody really excited about this $16 billion. So anyways, the Pleb Underground is brought to you by Thunderfunder. Check it out, Thunderfunder. Dot com. Thunderfunder is a funding portal registered with the SEC and a member of FINRA. Their mission is to provide retail investors access to investments while supporting the growth of open source projects. They love Bitcoin. Check out their shit coins. That's Thunderfunder.com. Pleb Underground is brought to you by our newest sponsor, NoHue. Check them out at NoHue.com. That's right, guys. The best Bitcoin builders in the space are coming together under one banner. Look for more people and more companies to be joining. Nohue.com, Proof of Ink, Stack Chain Magazine, BTC Pins, Asanoha Gold, Crypto Cloaks, and BTC Sessions are already members. Go check out what's going on at Nohue.com. All right, let's let's get down to let's get down to business. Like, why is this maybe not as exciting as it's being made out to be, okay? So I want people to think about the investors, the, the people that were marketed to in order to um, create activity on the FTX account, uh, on the FTX exchange, okay? So you need to think about the marketing, right? The marketing was people like Tom Brady, uh, Mr. Wonderful, right? Kevin O'Leary, television personality from Shark Tank, right? Uh, Giselle Bunchen. Larry David, Shaquille O'Neal, Stephen Curry, right? A basketball player. So, uh, and I'm not saying this stuff to insult these people, but I'm saying this is all mainstream entertainment, okay? So the reality is, is that this is being painted as a picture as like, oh, the, you know, all these crypto degens, right? These hardcore crypto traders are getting all of this money back and they're just going to pour it right back into the market. I don't think that's correct. I think that a lot of these people were just retail normies who really didn't know and they heard about this big exchange. They saw it from people that they uh, that they trusted for whatever reason due to their star power or whatever it is. And they went and got burned by putting their money onto that exchange. Like that, it's that simple. So I think that after two years, I don't book. I how could I say this? I'm not sure what portion of that 16 billion dollars is actually going to come back into this space. But what I can say is this: I don't believe it's as much as we think. And it's only in my eyes because of the people who were actually marketing this exchange. I can tell you from my experience, I don't know a single Bitcoiner that ever used the FTX exchange. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one. So I really have a strong feeling that this is just a bunch of paper hands that once they finally get that money back that they thought they were never going to get back. This was their experience. That's the other thing that I think uh, people tend to forget um, you know, I, when I first started in this, like I got burned, right. I lost tens of thousands of dollars. I sat there and I was like, what the hell is this? Like, this is terrible. This is a casino. And, and it's because I had completely forgotten about why I showed up here in the first place and why Bitcoin. And essentially th the majority of the people that I came into the space with, a lot of them are just gone. A lot of them just saw this as a fad. They figured this is garbage. This doesn't make any sense. You know, this is a Ponzi scheme and whatever. And and, and they left, right? They, they just, they did, they had no desire to build that conviction. The experience that they had was so poor that I mean, you know, what, why should I do this again? There's, there's no reason for me to do this again. Um, so yeah, I, I think that there's a certain portion of those FTX people, right? The people who had their money there. I think that that's going to be their experience. And I think that that's unfortunately what's going to happen where a good portion of them are just so happy to get their money back, um, that, you know, they're just going to walk away. And in their eyes, they, they will have, you know, they will have done the right thing when 
I mean, obviously, according to my opinion, I believe that they should learn about self-custodying Bitcoin, learning to run a node, learning to verify your own transactions. Obviously, I feel differently, but hey, it, to them, they're going to feel like they got off, you know, better off than they should, I guess, to a certain extent. Anyways, all this to say, um, yeah, I, I think this $16 billion coming onto the market is massive hype. Again, like I said, you know, of course, everybody welcomes money to a market, right? Because it adds liquidity to the market. And whether people want to accept it or not, it adds it adds um, a, an air of uh, relevancy to the market, right? That That's what ends up happening. You know, a lot of people didn't pay attention to Bitcoin before it crossed the, uh, before it crossed the, the billion mark. And then all of a sudden it crossed a billion and then all of a sudden it crossed a hundred billion, you know, like, but that's what it takes that unfortunately, like, this is what happens. This is what makes people's heads turn anyways, guys. Yeah. Uh, I know I tried to end this like 10 seconds ago, but it didn't work. It's just because I, I get so caught up over a lot of this opium. I, I, because I want to believe it too. And I want to believe that it's all kinds of great things, but in the end, I've been let down so many times on so much of this incredibly positive news that, you know, the, I, the, the best thing, the best thing you can do is just keep a level head about it. You know, like we'll be grateful for whatever percentage of that, uh, liquidity actually comes into the market and we're going to go from there. Anyways, guys, there's your reasonable take on the $16 billion that's going to trickle supposedly into the market. I will catch you all. Well, actually, you know what? Before I go, special announcement. We are planning, we, as in uh, myself, Sir Ulrich, Humble Bitcoiner, and, and Walton, we're putting together a roundtable for Tuesday night because I'm pretty sure some people expected me to talk about Swan by this point and, and what has happened, but I haven't yet. And you're wondering, like, why the hell hasn't Phil talked about it? And of course, we're going to talk about it. Uh, we're planning to do a live show. And we're planning to do this tentatively right now. It's Tuesday evening. So anyways, um, hope to catch you there. Obviously, we're going to be live streaming this on the YouTube channel. And we're going to be live streaming this on our Pleb Underground Twitter. So hopefully, I'll see you there. Catch you guys then. Peace. Peace.